large animal medicine. The causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment of pregnancy toxemia in cattle. The fat cow syndrome. Pregnancy toxemia. A condition caused by excessive energy intake in dairy cattle in late lactation and the dry period which is exacerbated by a low protein intake over the same period. These cows become overfat, with excessive subcutaneous fat depots which are mobilized to the liver at the time of greatest demand that is post-calving and early lactation, and the subsequent deposition of fat in the liver results in metabolic problems for example, hypocalcemia, acetonemia and an increase in paraparturient infections, mastitis. The condition is an exacerbation of what is known to happen in more than 70% of apparently normal high-yielding dairy cattle in the UK as they change from a state of positive energy balance to one of negative energy balance at parturition. Clinical signs. Cows that are very fat during the dry period and at calving have an increased incidence of paraparturient problems for example hypocalcemia, which are unusually resistant to treatment. The severely affected cases have reduced appetites eventually becoming totally anorexic and subsequently catotic although there is no response to treatment. These severe cases usually die or are culled within 10 days. In less severe cases milk yields are dramatically reduced, metritis, mastitis, lameness are common as incidental findings, and in animals which are kept the body condition suddenly deteriorates 3-4 to four weeks after calving. Anistris and subestris are a problem and lactation is usually severely curtailed. Diagnosis usually a group problem but may affect individuals for example show cows or dominant cows in a herd. If the above clinical signs are present then a diagnosis can be made using a mathematical calculation involving blood glucose, AST and free fatty acid levels as an estimate of fatty infiltration of the liver. Liver biopsy can be used to confirm this condition. Treatment Treatment of over-fat pregnant cows is of little value and affected cases should be slaughtered. Cases not diagnosed till after calving usually prove resistant to treatment and are also probably better culled as they prove to be economic disasters if kept. Control. Dairy cows should be prevented from becoming over-fat during late lactation and the dry period by keeping energy intake down and maintaining a balanced ration. Feeding should be closely monitored to ensure that cows are not overfed and dairy cows should be lead fed asterisk and not steamed up. Pregnancy toxemia is a condition in dairy cattle induced by high energy intake during late lactation in the dry season, exacerbated by a low protein diet during the same period. This condition is also known as the fat cow illness. These cows grow overweight, with large subcutaneous fat depots transported to the liver at times of maximum demand, such as post-calving and early lactation, resulting in metabolic conditions such as hypocalcemia, acetonemia, and an increase in paraparturient infections, mastitis. The disease worsens what is known to occur in more than 70% of seemingly normal high-yielding dairy calves in the United Kingdom as they transition from a positive to a negative energy balance during parturition. Clinical Symptoms of Pregnancy Toxemia Cows that are overweight throughout the dry period and at calving are more likely to suffer paraparturient issues, such as hypocalcemia, which have a high resistance to therapy. Although there is no response to treatment, the severely affected people have decreased appetites and finally become wholly anorexic and ketotic. Within 10 days, these severe cases usually die or are culled. 
milk production is drastically reduced in less severe cases, metritis, mastitis, and lameness are prevalent as incidental observations, and in animals kept, body condition rapidly deteriorates 3 to 4 weeks after calving. Lactation is frequently significantly hampered due to anestrus and subestrus. Diagnosis of pregnancy toxemia. Individuals, such as show cows or dominant cows in a herd, may be affected by this problem, usually a group problem. If the previous clinical indications are present, fatty infiltration of the liver can be estimated using a mathematical procedure involving blood glucose, ASD, and free fatty acid levels. A biopsy of the liver can be utilized to confirm the diagnosis. Treatment of pregnancy toxemia. Treatment for pregnant cows that are too fat is ineffective, and the farmer should destroy affected animals. Cases that aren't diagnosed until after calving are more likely to be resistant to treatment and are therefore better culled, as they can be costly if retained. Control of pregnancy toxemia. By limiting energy consumption and maintaining a balanced ratio, dairy cows can avoid becoming overweight during late lactation and the dry period. Dairy cows should be lead-fed rather than steamed up, and the farmer should constantly watch feeding to ensure that they are not overfed. Veterinary Channel Fat Cow Illness Large Animal Medicine The Causes, Symptoms, Diagnosis, and Treatment of Pregnancy Toxemia in Cattle